Good evening, all. We're the Ketamine Fuck Cowboys, and we're here for your irritainment. Not just ours. I have to apologise, I, I brought you all here today under the misapprehension that I was a serious filmmaker. He's just a bloke with a bad gut sticking out, have a look at this. Just a cut. Oh, I've got a bit of the undies sticking out of the pants look, I like it mate, well done. Ah, underwear. Oh, underwear. The mouth says no, but the undies say go, go, go. <laughs> This one's our first one. It's called Ten Wheels for Jesus. And I gotta tell you right now, praise the Lord and pass the ketamine infused seafood extender. Stickers here if anyone wants one. We've uh, spared absolutely no expense at uh, getting these printed up for you. Any scabs or sores that you uh, there we go. develop after this blasphemous hey. Sunday, you can cover them up with a ketamine. Hey, it could have been worse, they could have been pre used. But we're no scabs. Uh, you could have picked them up in the Oh, God, somebody take them. It took me fucking seconds to do. Oh, bless you. They're going to Canada. Oh, Fuck it. yeah, yeah, mate. Straight to Alberta. I'm glad I wiped AIDS all over it then. Uh, well, speaking what? of death on Sunday. Ah, oh, speaking uh, of. Can you um, politely, uh, correctly introduce this song so no one gets upset? Yeah, well, this, this is called um, She Took a Lot of Pills and Died. And I've got into so much fucking trouble. Especially when we played at Sneaky Baron. I don't know if you've heard this story, but they actually paid us to stop playing. And then they told us politely, just don't come back again. Total, um, total success. may have been something to do with us saying, if those sneaky cunts won't give us another gig, tell them that we're going to set fire to their bar. Or something like that. But anyway, there was one moment where a, an audience member, I use that term lightly, stood up and she was ready to strike me across the face because I dedicated this song to Gwyneth Paltrow and someone quite correctly pointed out well she's not dead, I said she's fucking dead to me because I sent an email to her mail order company requesting one of those vaginal candles and I got it back and I sent a very terse email back saying Miss Paltrow not only did that candle not smell like a vagina or taste like a vagina and sure as fuck didn't feel like a vagina and she never fucking emailed me back so she's dead to me so just imagine her pursed little fucking face while I'm sitting there she's still reading that email Thank you. 
him one. I said, this isn't a sin, is it? Uh, now, this, this is the one that uh, our Canadian friends have been waiting for. This is a song that inspired our name, Ketamine Cowboys. I wrote it for a band called Roots of Evil. I used to point her out in the corner whenever we played. And this particular song, Ketamine Cowboy, was not about my old guitarist in the Vagina Billies. And if you spread this fucking hideous rumour on Facebook, I will fucking sue you. I will sewage you. I will shit upon you from a great height. So this is a quasi-true story about someone we all know. We all know a ketamine cowboy. Well, he don't like horses. His eyes big as saucers. Ketamine cowboy is his name. We're gonna change in brain chemistry. Crash calls and old dentistry. Keeps him at the top of his game. He dreams up syringes. Rubbing coke in my ninjas. His membranes have seen better days. And only six bucks to his name. This is the bit where you have to fucking sing along. And all the colored dogs sing rap. Oh, 
fantastic. Give yourselves some ketamine. We'll all go down the K hole together. He says happiness comes in small plastic bags. And he says a happy man is a grinner. Refers to his wife as his trouble and strife. But in her eyes, he's still a fucking winner. His mom thinks he's shit. His friends all do too. But can the cowboys do a rock? Freedom mean, keep them keen, ketamine, libertine, here's a match in kerosene. Get along, ketamine cowboy, keep on trucking. We did that as a fucking seven inch recording in December, <laughs> along with the other Ketamine Cowboy song and two songs with Gudgeon as our backing band. And we're going to be doing those two songs with Gudgeon very, very soon. Along with a Nick Cave cover. But in the meantime, we got. We got. We've now got the single greatest song from 1978. Actually, two of them. And it starts off a bit like this. Hang on, I've got to take, take, take my heterosexual straw out first.
signing in. All right, this is the last one before Gudgeon, or BG, as we like to call it in the entertainment industry. You've heard of BGs? They were a little before Gudgeon too. Uh, they weren't before my <laughs> time, actually. Sorry. This is our one concession to the 21st century, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, by a, a, a combo we've never really heard of before called the Viagra Boys. I hear they're really hip on the fucking hip parade. Well, I tell you, this is how hip they are. We had to have a fucking belligerent 23 year old transcribe the lyrics from Spotify. Now I don't know what the fuck Spotify is. I don't know what Viagra is. But he's still a boy. And you know what 23 year olds are like? They're fucking horrible. Have you fucking seen them? Have you talked to them? This is where it stops getting a, a nice acoustic, uh, folky kind of feel, and it goes into some terrifying territory. More terrifying. Can we have a gudgeon? Light it. 
ladies and gentlemen, on the drums, Mick Gudgeon. And on bass, Dave Gudgeon, whoever the fuck they are. They're apparently they're two heads of the one hillbilly. So this is, this is a little set that we concocted for our, our seven inch EP. It's got a photo of, it's got a photo of me and Mick on the cover holding a naked photo of Slim Dusty. And we're calling it Feeling a Little Dusty. If you can get one cheap laugh out of it, it's all been worth it. That's been my philosophy. The other philosophy I stole, ladies and gentlemen, I stole from uh, Willie Nelson. He said, fail at something for long enough and you'll become a legend. I figure we've still got another 20 years of failure ahead of me. And he. But as my mama said, don't peak early. And having turned 54, there's no danger of that.
This one's a Peak Temple cover. All right, we do two 21st century covers. Don't fucking sell it. But if you remember their cover, of their original song, Carol, it's a beautiful song, beautiful love story. We changed it. We turned it into a four minute dirge where someone on drugs is yelling at some poor woman behind the fucking counter of a pub. I thought it was a ha- I thought it was a health advisory thing that we were taking. Well, it, it's a cautionary tale, and we've made up a feral uh, name tag. If someone can be yelled at for the next four minutes, who's going to be our barrel for tonight? Come on. Barrel up. Barrel up. Oh, uh, g'day, barrel. You're on your barrel. I don't care who you're fucking, you're fucking barrel tonight.
Hold the chip. Hold the chip, barrel. On your barrel. Ladies and gentlemen, a big fucking round of applause for barrel. On your barrel. Well, you know, we're going to be doing a Christmas show. We're going to call it Barrels by Candlelight. Who's with me? Yeah, your lights in barrel. Nambo Cunts, are you with me? In the words of the great dungeon. This is a. It's our last song. A suitable time, uh, time to uh, give you a reminder. Next Saturday from 12, music save one. It goes on all night. BYO, $15 to get in. Uh, lots of good bands. Gravel Sandwich before. Boonal Boys with yeah. Band. Macca. Ketamon Cowboys might appear. And the Paul Kidney Experience from Melbourne. And it's at our house in New Lake. Just get the train and sleep in the garden. Let's go fucking a, feral next weekend. There's a few people in here that I can see have actually slept in that garden. I was there New Year's Eve on a fucking beanbag and the doof music wouldn't stop until 5am. I've never wanted a fucking stab, rave, fucking dancing pricks as much in my life. And we, we couldn't help him because he was tripping and looking at the stars and burning his feet in the fire. Sure, no, that was the party before. That was a different party. Oh, okay. Go Hang on, this is on fucking camera. Mum? All, all that shit in the last 30 seconds. Strike it. Favour in the record. Anyway, this is... This is our Nick Cave tribute. It's called Udalone.
rockin' little one slow Mama rock you baby Mama rock you little one slow Lord help you low God help you low God help you low And the gates will come down And the gates will come down
Gudgeon. Dave Gudgeon. Kenna Mick Turner. The other Mick Turner. And I am El Stumpo, your saviour. I'm the one without the holes in the middle. This has been fucking great. You've been the most generous audience. Thank you for helping me get to fucking Europe. Wait till they sing karaoke. Redefined. Up next is the final actor tonight, the amazing Citizen Rat. Guys, thank you for being a part of Pub the Gig. Thank you all for coming to Pub the Gig. Thank you to all the bands that have played tonight. You've been absolutely fucking incredible.